Hello, and welcome to A VO's Journey. My name is Anthony Pika. This show is all about helping the new and upcoming voiceover artists grow their business and sidestep all the crazy things that I seem to step on. It is Monday, the 2nd of August. I cannot believe we are in August. Summer is almost over. Thank goodness, because the heat's killing me. But other than that, uh, I am so excited to be here with you today. Today's topic, we're going to talk about five ways to market your voiceover business as an introvert. So if you're an introvert, um, you know, and you want to market your voiceover business, you know, a lot of the things like, for example, what I'm doing right now and the methods of, you know, getting your face out there and talk, you know, talking to people constantly is very challenging and it's tough. I mean, part of the thing about being a voiceover artist is that we're in a booth. It's appealing because you can perform, but you don't have to perform in front of people. You know what I mean? We can do it by ourselves and it, it's it's nice. It's it's fantastic. So if you're an introvert, you can find it very challenging uh, in order, you know, to to get out in front of people and talk to people people in order to get business. So I have five different uh, ways that I think you can uh, market your business, your voiceover business as an introvert. Okay. So number one, uh, we have platforms. Platforms, you know, are the way of the future. They're they're now. They're you know they're not even the way of the future. They are what they are uh, the establishment now. I mean, platforms like pay to play platforms, uh, Voices dot com, Voice One Two Three. I mean, these started you know almost twenty years ago now, right back in the early two thousands and uh, two thousand three. I think Voice One Two Three started. Uh, Voices dot com started around the same time. And, you know, these platforms, you know, like I said, it's almost been 20 years. These are pay to play platforms where you go on there and you audition. You know what I mean? You pay a fee for the year and you get sent auditions and, you know, you audition. You don't need to do anything but type uh, responses or, you know, to the, the people when they hire you to the client. Um, other platforms like Upwork and Fiverr and um, places like uh, People Per Hour or Voquint, you know, all these places that you can um, get on that you don't have to talk to people. I mean, you might have to type to some people, so there is some typing involved. But, you know, I, I've never found an issue typing. I think it's more, you know, challenging when you have to get in front of people and talk. So I think platforms are a great way to uh, market your business. All right. Number two. Automatic email marketing or automated. I like this method because there are some uh, companies like Mailshake where basically what you do is you, you know, you find businesses and that uh, could possibly use voice actors. You put them into the system and basically Mailshake will send out emails to these places and it will show you if they've opened the email. Uh, I will send you, know, send you a response if they do, but also what it allows you to do is uh, build in um, automatic responses. So like if they don't, re a lot of people, especially businesses, they don't, uh, they get so many emails a day, right? They don't open them all or they click through and delete them, you know? So it's the second, third, fourth follow-up email that usually gets work. Now, again, depending on what country you're in, follow the laws of your country. There are some countries where you can't do that, you know, et cetera, et cetera, but but pretty much in the U.S., you can do that, uh, but you have to give them the right to unsubscribe. And mail, companies like Mailshake and stuff do all of that. And I think in the U.K., though, they have to you – know, you, you can't solicit in that manner. So whatever country you're in, make sure you're using the, the – you're paying attention to the laws. But generally, the automatic approach is really nice because you know it does it for you, and you can kind of plug and play and build your list – automatically instead of you having to do it and then you having to be that face uh, you know communicating with people constantly. All right. The third thing is agents. Now, you know, agents uh, are, and I'm talking about, uh, I call them offline. So I call it online agents and offline agents. So basically online agents are like websites. Okay, and the offline agents are, you know, real people. Not that the online agents like websites aren't real people running it, but you get what I mean, right? Uh, person running an agency, etc. So these people are your representatives. They represent you. They make sure, you know, that you can get auditions. They make sure they protect you, et cetera, et cetera. They do all these things for you. And they're the face for you. All right. And then they send you auditions. So, again, it's a similar to an online 
but different. They're offline. They're they're you usually deal with real people. But as an introvert, you know, you don't have to be that person going out and getting the business. The agent does it for you and then sends you the audition and they communicate. So instead of having to talk to multiple people, you know, you can really communicate with just one person uh, most of the time, unless it's a session, in which case you've got to go to a place. But a lot of times now, especially with the home studio being the norm more so now than, you know, it was before you know, you could just source connect in somewhere. So, all right, so that's number three. Number four is your website. Now, I want to make this clear. It's very difficult to put up a website these days uh, and actually rank above other people on Google to get organic traffic. But, you know, having a website is, you know, allows you to send people to your website, allows people to see, you know, to check and see if you're legitimate, to listen to your stuff, to be able to com- uh, communicate and contact you through your website. So having a website is vital. It is important. I think it's just understanding the role that your website plays. OK, as opposed to thinking, you know, your website's going to be, you know, all or nothing. Uh, I think the website continues to our website, our, our business websites continue to, um, I guess, you know, grow or change over time because of all the other websites. OK, so that's the number fourth one, your personal website. And the fifth one, which I work with a lot of people, actually, that do this. A lot of people contact me. They want to remain anonymous. Um, because of whatever relationships they have, um, but they they still would like to promote their business in various ways, and that's a pseudonym. Okay, so you know a lot of people use a pseudonym to for for a variety of reasons. One, uh, like an audiobook industry, to give them the ability to do different genres, so they're not you know. Um, like just stuck in one lane, you know, or they they don't have a problem doing other stuff, but they don't want that tied directly to their name, or they might be looking to uh, grow their business in other fields that aren't necessarily accepted in other fields, and they use a pseudonym, or in the case of this, is that, you know, you are actually, you know, don't want to use your name. I've worked with a bunch of people who just don't want their real name on the internet. Do you know what I mean? So they use a pseudonym, and that gives them that uh, anonymity that they're looking for, okay? So pseudonyms are great ways also, you know, to be able to promote your business, but not, uh, you know, fear that if you have a, you want to keep your personal life personal, Okay, Uh, which I highly recommend from a business standpoint that you keep your business and your personal life, uh, personal life separate. (laughs) Now, sometimes they might be one in the same. Okay, but, you know, pretty much like for me, I, I try to I do mention my personal life, but I try not to, you know, I try to keep them separate. Uh, so that it gives me time to get away from my business as well. But anyway, so those are the five things. So remember, we've got platforms, we've got uh, automatic or automation when it comes to email marketing, agents, websites, and pseudonyms. All right, thank you guys so much for watching. Please take a moment to hit that like and subscribe button. Uh, Also, if you want to head over and check out avosjourney.com and you're looking for some coaching on your voiceover business or some voice acting coaching as well, I'll put a link below uh, to my coaching services or you can go to, like I said, avosjourney.com. Thank you guys so much. Talk to you soon. Goodbye. Goodbye.